Hello everyone! In today's video, I'm going to show you an MRP Easy or Mr. PZ tutorial for beginners. Now, this video will contain everything you need to get started on Mr. PZ, especially if you're a beginner. So without further ado, let's dive right into their website. Now here, this is basically the dashboard of Mr. PZ and so that you can get started with this software, make sure to create an account at mrpz.com right here. Just sign in or rather you can click on free trial and sign up for the free trial. Now, as you can see, since I already have an account and I'm logged in, it takes me back to the dashboard. So that's what will happen once you've signed up for an account. Just log in with your credentials and you'll be greeted with this landing page. Now here, as you can see, we have the dashboard, the CRM, my production plan, product planning or production planning, stock, procurement, settings, demo data and videos, free use, and help center. Now here are some things you need to check out first. Right off the bat, head to settings and make sure to set your regional settings under system settings. If you need to edit any details here, just make sure to fill in the correct and necessary details. Company details, of course, just fill in the info that they're asking, company name, legal address, email, website, phone, etc. And numbering formats for uh, customer orders, customers, invoices, etc. If you have any uh, specific numbering formats. Now working hours, of course, you can set this according to your company's working hours. Holidays, if you're going to include any or if your company recognizes any, depending, of course, on your uh, company's policies. And there's professional functions. Anything that applies to your company, make sure to edit them right here. Enterprise functions as well. Now, if we try to check software settings, you can freely edit them right here. If there's anything you need to change for your Mr. PZ app. And then usability settings, dashboard as the homepage, color scheme. So you can freely edit them here. You can also uh, personalize your notifications. It's a very thorough list right here if you want to change your uh, notifications or if you want to get email updates on selected events then make sure to edit them right here if you have any additional currencies or allowed IPs you can include them here if you have any integrations that you wish to use so for example you have QuickBooks Xero Google Drive Pipe Drive Shopify WooCommerce BigCommerce Magento ShipStation where to go stuff like those uh, custom fields so this is for professional function you can edit them here there's also a pdf editor for a bunch of uh, credit invoices customer orders delivery notes etc label editor there's also an email editor for let's say invoice purchase order rfq delivery note or way bill write off types customer statuses and delivery terms and we can also check account and billing for a quick overview of accounting and billing. As you can see, there's currently no info present here yet. It's because this is a free trial account. So this will be filled up as soon as, of course, you get to fill in the necessary details for your company or your business. Now for human resources, you can add users and as you can see here, if you add the second user, you can get five free days after the user performs five actions. So if you wish to add the user, just click on the plus icon here and then you'll fill in the details for their email, their name, the copy, user's rights, so on and so forth. I'm just going to head back and then for departments, of course, if you need to add more departments to your company, then just Fill in the details here. You can have their average hourly wage calculated automatically or set manually right here in this field and then click on save once you're satisfied with that. And for planning, you'll get an overview of a specific period for your workforce planning depending on the date that you input. Now, this is just some support tickets. 
if you need to create a support ticket, you can also ask Mr. PZ for an AI chatbot if you need help with something, which is very useful if, for example, you get confused with the processes within the software. There's also the training hours here, and then the implementation and some more settings. You can allow technical support to see your data just so they can uh, help you further with your concern, for example, if you need any help or if you need any technical support for your data, for the data that you input, that all depends on you since sometimes data can be uh, confidential. So again, be cautious when uh, using this feature. There's also a data database maintenance. So if you need to create a backup of your database, this is very useful if in case anything gets corrupted or erased stuff like that you know it's always useful to have a backup and then you can also restore and upload a backup you can archive old data and then set the months or years for that archive data you can also empty the database or delete orders and stock right here so again that's for the settings that you'll need for uh mr pz so we're just gonna head back to our landing page and we're gonna check out some of the stuff we have on the main menu so right here we try to check our dashboard this is basically what it will look like at a glance it'll give you an idea on your late customer orders manufacturing orders late purchase orders invoices and your total inventory and then sales cash flow and you can also freely customize your dashboard here if you wish to add or remove any widgets so you have a an extensive list here that you can include in your dashboard as you can see you also have cash and cash equivalents income expenses and cash flow forecast so again feel free to change up your dashboard according to what your uh, business needs now we're going to head back and check crm this is for customer orders where you can create more customer orders right here so just fill in the details and then you can add a quotation or you can set it to quotation or waiting for confirmation or if the customer order is confirmed of course just fill in the details here and click save so that you can add a new customer order now we're going to head back check my production plan here you can see a very organized uh, production plan for the month of October and you can see here we have some set on Monday to Thursday so again this will all get filled up depending on what you put in into your uh, Mr. PZ account and then there's also stock right here you have a, a brief overview of your stock for items you can add more just click on create and then fill in the details all of that good stuff that'll make tracking much easier for your company just feel free to work with the features just make sure to set up your uh, company's info as i've shown a while ago under settings so that you can get started with your business and that's it for today. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.